Welcome to the chemistry question. Jordan here, and this is a response video to a specific question I was recently asked. The person wanted to know why urea and thiourea produce green flame in a Bellstein test, but normally only halogenated compounds will produce such a color. This was a very difficult question to answer, and it took a fair amount of research, but here's what I have found. In a Bellstein test, a clean copper wire is heated by a Bunsen burner to form a surface coating of copper oxide, then dipped in a solution of the sample to be tested. Halogenated compounds, simply meaning those containing halogens, will react with the copper oxide, displacing the oxygen and forming a copper-1 halide. The copper-1 salts burn blue-green and thus show positive tests for halogenated compounds. There are a few important things to note. 1. Fluorides cannot be detected using this method because copper fluoride is not volatile. 2. Typically, only the halogens are reactive enough to displace oxygen from copper oxide. 3. Halogens prevent further oxidation of the copper from copper 1 to copper 2 ions. This brings us to the question of why urea and thiourea would produce a green flame. Urea and thiourea are exceptions and will react with copper oxide to produce a copper urea or a copper thiourea complex. They also prevent oxidation of copper from copper 1 to copper 2 ions. However, I was unable to find any example of the Bellstein test working for urea or thiourea, though it seems it would theoretically work. A word of caution, however, the Bellstein test is incredibly sensitive and thus can show a false positive if an impurity containing a halogen contaminates a sample. Thank you for watching the chemistry question. Be sure to subscribe and leave any questions or suggestions in the comments below. Until next time.